At the outset, I have the honor to convey the best wishes of His Excellency the President of Sri Lanka, his government and the people of Sri Lanka for the success of the deliberations of the 39th Assembly. I am glad to congratulate the President, Vice President and Committee Chairman on their well-deserved election to this election session. We are confident that under their stewardship, this Assembly will achieve all its agenda objectives. My delegation is honored to join those of other member states in addressing the goals and expectations of international civil aviation of, uh, by the opportunity afforded by this assembly to discuss both current and emerging issues, to share knowledge, experiences, and new ideas in our collective efforts in, at finding solutions to make global aviation industry safer, convenient, and increasingly eco-friendly. The extensive deliberations that would take place here at this assembly will hopefully lead not only to refining existing standards and practices, but also to the development of new standards and procedures for the identified gaps through coordination, collaboration, consultation, and consensus. As we all know, Yara transport in the 21st century has become an increasingly indispensable component of the economic development aspirations of member states in addition to ensuring safe and seamless connectivity between communities. It is certainly so for Sri Lanka, which is in the midst of a series of multifaceted measures aimed at fast-tracking economic development. We are already on course to receiving an estimated 4.5 million tourists by 2020. The financial city project and the western megapolis project are about two important ventures that are bound to draw a large number of visitors to the country. We have consistently strived to conform to the expectations of the principles and objectives enshrined in the Chicago Convention and the technical specifications in its various annexures and related documents. Sri Lanka has maintained an exceptionally high safety record of, over the last decade with a zero aircraft accidents. We have modernized our aviation legal framework in full conformity with ICAO standards. The regulation of civil aviation affairs in Sri Lanka is a function of the Civil Aviation Authority, an autonomous institution in regard to the administrative, operational, and financial matters. The, the government recently decided to divest the aircraft accident investigation functions from, civil, from the Civil Aviation Authority and to vest such responsibilities on an independent aircraft accident investigation bureau. This was in pursuance of the recommendation of ICAO for, a separ for separation of aircraft accident investigation functions from civil aviation regulatory functions. Mr. President, I am pleased to report that Sri Lanka has demonstrated a very high percentage of achievement in the effective implementation of international standards relating to both aviation safety and security at the last audit conducted by ICAO. We would not rest on our laurels, but would continue to take all necessary steps to consistently sustain our safety and security oversight system. We will be reviewing our safety oversight system in all eight critical elements and upgrading where necessary. The government will rigorously pay attention and take concerted action towards the effective implementation of the state civil aviation safety program with the active participation and contribution of all stakeholders. Sri Lanka underscores the need to strengthen both preventive and countermeasures at civil airports, both air side and land side, and air navigation facilities in response to current and emerging security threats. At the same time, Sri Lanka wishes to highlight the need for striking a proper balance between security and other important aspects of air travel, such as convenience of travel, passenger privacy, the protection of personal data, and other operational factors. Sri Lanka acknowledges that air service agreements which couple increased market access with other open skies elements, including provisions 
that eliminate government involvement in airlines commercial decisions on capacity and pricing <coughs> and establish pro competitive elements on user charges doing business matters and cooperative arrangements deliver broad economic benefits to states and aviation industry stakeholders alike in this context sri lanka will soon be moving towards a fully open skies regime in regard to market access on the basis of reciprocity mr president in keeping with the consistent support extended by sri lanka to the activities of the international civil aviation organization over the years my government is glad to host the 10th icao air services negotiations meeting i can in 2017 in colombo i am pleased to report that sri lanka will be taking collect effective measures for the full implementation of performance based navigation pbn in respect in respect of all in international runways in the country before the end of this year in conformity with the icao standard furthermore having understood the vital importance of civil aviation for economic development we have already mainstreamed the subject of civil aviation into the government program for the accelerated <coughs> development of the national economy a series of measures will be taken in the field of civil aviation in this regard they relate to the expansion of the terminal building at the bandaranaike international airport in colombo to handle 15 million passengers by 2020 the overlaying of the existing runway at this airport the is installation of adsb surveillance system by 2017 the development of domestic airports including the construction of two new airports the development of jaffna airport as a regional airport are some of the key activities which are being pursued <coughs> sri lanka has opened a new international airport at mathala in the south of the country and expressions of interest have been called for its operation on a public private partnership basis we endorse the value of the icao's next generation aviation professionals program ngap accordingly sri lanka has launched <coughs> ngap sri lanka with a view to prom promo promoting awareness on the potential of civil aviation and to prepare the next generation not only to replace retiring staff but also to fill the gap generated by significant developments in this sector in conclusion mr president i wish the 19th session of the assembly all success in bringing about meaningful and sustainable results arrived at by consensus i hope that what emerges from our deliberations will ensure greater security regularity and efficiency in international civil aviation thank you